In 96 days, that's a long time to wait for justice, but that's the reality and the struggle tonight for a local family. The family of Trayvon Ritchie three years ago tonight, the 23 year old was murdered in a South City Park. That shooting happened in the daylight with dozens around. News 4's Gabriela Vidal shares their search for both justice and peace. I saw him land on the ground with his legs stretched out and arms open wide, gunned down. Another year comes and goes. It's been pretty hard for me um, throughout the year, throughout the week, um, throughout the month, um, coming down to this and no one has been um, held accountable for it. But the pain remains just as strong as it did three years ago when Patricia Newton's son was killed. My son Trayvon Ritchie was an outgoing young man loving, kind, um, enjoyable, life of the party, love to make friends, love to make people laugh. Richie was a mama's boy and had an aspiration to join the military. He was also a father. His daughter is six years old right now. It was a relative that called and told Newton her son was shot at Dutchtown's Amberg Park. He had been there hanging with friends and family. When I got over into the area, Everybody was gone. No one was at the scene when I got over there, but the police officers. St. Louis Metro Police say there were around 30 to 50 people present around or here at Amber Park the night Trayvon Ritchie was killed. Still to this day, no one has come forward with any information. I can't understand 50 people in a park and nobody saying anything. It's disheartening. This week, SLMPD upped efforts, urging the public to come forward to homicide detectives or crime stoppers about what happened three years ago at the park and who may be responsible for Richie's death. We do things in our community, black on black crimes, we don't want to tell. But as soon as a police officer do something to someone, Everybody's mad and they want to tell. The executive director of Crime Stoppers assures anyone who comes forward with information will not have their identity revealed. It's the most secure that you can get to give information out. We don't have caller ID. We don't trace your phone. We don't trace your IP addresses. You can go online. You can call us. I like the fact that they're still working on the case. Um, at this point, after three years, is hard when you don't know who did it. Newton is still holding out faith her son's murder will be solved and bring her family and Richie's daughter the justice they deserve. I know that a lot of people are afraid because of they use that term that um, we don't snitch in our community, but you also could be saving someone else's life. In South City, Gabriella Vidal, News 4. If you know anything about this crime or others in our region, we urge you to call Crime Stoppers. You see the number, it's there on your screen. Also, once you remember, you can report, you can remain anonymous, and you can earn a reward if there is an arrest.